and if I'm standing in for Art Gutby. My name is Moisture Earl. I want to introduce an episode in the series, Application and Operation at CSC Instruments. This episode deals with the process of determining moisture using the loss and dry method. We hope you find it useful and entertaining. Historically, laboratory ovens have been used to determine moisture content. The weight of samples before and after drying, sometimes as long as 12 hours, are compared and the percent moisture content calculated. This method is known as loss on drying or LOD for short. The integrated moisture analyzer was developed to perform LOD testing in much shorter times, minutes not hours. In these instruments, the sample is placed in the analyzer where it is heated and automatically turned off when the test is finished and the percent moisture is calculated. The process of LOD moisture analysis is made possible by the phenomenon of evaporation. Evaporation is the process of changing moisture from a liquid to a gas or vapor without boiling. This process happens when kinetic energy in the material causes the water molecules to bounce off each other and fly out of the test sample. The process is driven by heating the sample. In the automatic systems, the heating continues until all the water molecules have gone and the sample weight stabilizes. Alcohol, fat, and other volatiles can evaporate with the water to distort LOD results. Likewise, moisture captured in the structure of sim samples chemistry can also cause errors. If you want to know more about loss on drying, we have an ebook called Loss on Drying and Other Moisture Mysteries. Click on the link to reserve your copy. I hope this has been useful.